Municipalism wasn't present in Croatian local politics until a few years ago. Ever since the 90s and independence of Croatia, it was dominated by two big parties, center-right and center-left. Through the years, they created the systems of nepotism, systems of corruption, systems of local sheriffs who completely disregarded citizens' initiatives, citizens' ideas, and just brought politics that were serving the interests of themselves or of their parties. Local political movements started as social movements. NGOs, citizens, activists got engaged trying to stop building shopping malls instead of parks, trying to stop golf courses in protected places. Those social movements through the years grew up to be political movements in Zagreb, in Split, in Dubrovnik. Biggest success came in last elections, that was just two months ago. In Zagreb, capital of Croatia, Zagreb in Nash, called Zagreb is ours on English, had a landslide victory with the mayor and majority in uh, city assembly. This win came as a result of hard work on the ground and through the years of being an active opposition in the parliament, but also in the streets. Those two factors being one uh, with one feet on the street and the other feet in the parliament helped the movement to create uh, on one side accountability among the citizens and the other side to present themselves as a legitimate option. Municipalist movements didn't win just in Zagreb. They also won in Pazin, a small city in the western Croatia, but also had a couple of uh, members in parliament in different city councils and local municipalities. But the biggest challenge will be in Zagreb. It's the capital of Croatia. It has one quarter of the whole population of Croatia. It has a budget bigger than most of the ministries in Croatia. Uh, with the big success and uh, fulfillment of promises, uh, it can show that municipalist movement is an answer to the nowadays problems and can be an effective way to include citizens in creating a better uh, environment for, for their lives. We hope to continue with this fight and to spread it out not just in Croatia but in other parts of uh, southeastern Europe. We started as a citizen initiative on social media, on Facebook group, that was uh, getting bigger and bigger. And after three years of activism and the pressure from the outside, we decided to run as a political platform on less local elections. Uh, what we would like is to see the city of Varaždin that is more transparent, that has uh, transparent budgeting and it's open to its citizens. Uh, that listens to their ideas and uh, the changes that we saw in Zagreb and some other cities in Croatia gives us hope that similar can also happen in Varaždin.